Hi there, Pisces, and welcome back to Star Lordis Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the month of March. I went ahead, shuffled the cards, and laid them all out in a Celtic cross. So let's get to your reading, but not before I get a chance to wish you all a happy birthday, Pisces. I hope you're doing well. So let's see what's going on for you guys. First up, we have Major Account of the Devil in the reverse position, followed then by Major Account of the Sun, upright. And next we have the Seven of Swords in the upright, followed then by the Page of Cups, upright. And next we have the Nine of Cups in the upright, followed then by the Ace of Wands, upright. Next we have Major Account of the Magician, upright. Followed by the Ace of Pentacles, upright. Oh wow, two aces. Next up, we have the Ten of Pentacles in the upright position. And lastly, we have the Three of Cups, upright. Wow. Wow, Pisces. Ooh, interesting reading. <laughs> Here we go. So, for your overall energy, you have that of Major Account of the Devil in the reverse position. This is the Capricorn card. Um, the This is really nice to have this energy in the reverse because the devil in the upright position can point to um this is bondage to the material can point to like ocd and obsessing obsessive thoughts obsessing over a relationship obsessing over the things that we want and feel we can't get it could be obsessing over uh, temptations when we feel that we want to do stuff and they're not really it's not really good for us so like say for example we want to break our diet or we want to start smoking again after we've given it up that temptation could be there when it's in the upright position when it's in the reverse position the temptation could still be there but guess what pisces you are able to find it very easy to resist it good for you guys that's awesome awesome energy for your overall and look what is crossing you major arcana the sun the leo card in the upright position beautiful beautiful energy this is uh the sun is all about feeling uh, really uh, high vitality, high confidence, feeling really vibrant. Um, well, it is Pisces season, so you guys are probably feeling pretty good on the whole. And this represents success and attainment and victory. This is gorgeous, gorgeous energy. The sun is rising for Pisces. How beautiful. And in your past, you have, this is something that could have happened a, a, a couple of weeks ago or a, a month ago or something like that. You have the seven of swords. In the upright position this is known as a little sneak thief it could represent for some of you maybe some of my pisces were dealing with somebody who was either um trying to steal your possessions or steal your thoughts or your ideas or something this could be a really sketchy person but for the most part could be just representing avoidance or somebody just kind of sneaking off um you know just being really dishonest dishonest and sneaking off or it could represent uh, avoidance maybe you were avoiding someone or a situation or someone was avoiding you um so it's going to be different for all of you because it's just a general read you'll have to leave me a comment in the comment section below to let me know if this resonates for you and how but that's your past energy thank goodness <laughs> Coming out of the month of February, moving into the month of March, we have the energies of the Page of Cups in the upright position. This is so sweet. I call this my Pisces card. I love it. A little fish coming out of there. I love this energy when it's in the upright position. This is uh, the Page of Cups loves like he's never been hurt. It's amazing. Beautiful energy. Could be somebody has a big old crush on Pisces or maybe Pisces has a crush on someone and is offering. This can represent sweet little love notes. Uh, this can represent somebody who's really shy, who's very interested in you, Pisces, but they don't know how to express it or they don't know how to say it. Or it could be you yourself being shy, Pisces. And for others of you, this could represent someone being incredibly adorable. It can represent your child or your grandchild or, or a child in your life who's being so sweet and just bringing you a bouquet of flowers maybe for your birthday or something and just being so adorable and it just sort of makes your day. It makes you feel really good on the emotional front. Now that energy gives way in early part of March to the Ace of Wands in the upright position. Beautiful. Ace of Wands, you have two aces in this reading suite. The Ace of Wands is new beginning in something passionate. It could be that the universe is offering you this uh, passionate new beginning in something. It could be a new hobby. It could be a new job, a new career. 
uh, for some of you, a passionate new relationship could be on the horizon, or it could be the passion is coming back in your existing relationship. So it's beautiful, beautiful energy. Really nice to see that's what you have to look forward to in the early part of March. And around the middle of the month, we have the energies of the Nine of Cups in the upright position. Beautiful. Pisces, you get your wish. Isn't this gorgeous? I love this energy. And this is, uh, well, it's funny. It's birthday season, so maybe some of you are blowing out your candles and <laughs> at your birthday party and you're getting your wish. This is amazing. Beautiful, beautiful energy. It's a little bit of an excess energy too, so that's why it's known as the pleasure card. So just don't go too overboard with the celebrations because you could be a little bit sorry <laughs> afterwards. But I don't think you will with the, the devil here being in reverse. I don't think you're going to go to the excess. But here you are in celebration mode. You're celebrating. You're getting your wish. This is beautiful, beautiful energy. <laughs> And this is how you'll be feeling throughout the month of March internally, not necessarily what you're showing to the world, but inside we all know Pisces is magic. <laughs> the magician in the upright position. I love this energy. This is when we're in full manifestation mode. And why wouldn't you be with all this beautiful energy around you? Wow, it's incredible, Pisces. You're just feeling like um, I've got the confidence and I'm just going to manifest whatever I want. And you're probably the one manifesting all this stuff. Beautiful love energy, beautiful uh, success and victory energy. Great, beautiful, beautiful reading. So you're going to be feeling like the magician during the month of March. You're going to be feeling really strong, confident, and like you can, you know, just whatever you can think of that you want to manifest for your way forward. You're just, you know, you're just doing it. You're doing it. You're living the dream, Pisces, man. You're living the dream. <laughs> And in your environment, people in environment position, we have the Ace of Pentacles in the upright position. Again, now this is new beginnings, perhaps in finances, perhaps in uh, investment, could be new beginnings in uh, a job, maybe a job offer or uh, something stable. And this is in your environment, so it could be someone in your environment gives you a tip, say for example, on a really good uh, property that you could invest in and make good money later. For others of you, somebody could be giving you a stock market tip and you know you could invest a few dollars and win a ton of money. Um, for others of you, this could be representing a job offer, a home offer, or an apartment that's really affordable. So look up for somebody in your environment to, um, you know, if they come towards you with an, a good offer, listen to them. <laughs> And in your hopes and fears position, we have beautiful Ten of Cups, in, or Ten of uh, Pentacles, rather, in the upright position. Ten of Pentacles is, you're hoping for, to go from the Ace of Pentacles to the Ten of Pentacles. Slow down, Pisces. It takes a few minutes to get to, <laughs> from there to here. But you're hoping for, the, for the, the best, and you're hoping for the most. And the Ten of Pentacles is beautiful. Great thing to be hoping for. And if you're man in manifesta manifestation mode, you may very well be manifesting this. And the Ten of Pentacles is about um, feeling really good on the finance, feeling very abundant on the financial front. Could be representing a pay raise or an inheritance or extra money coming in uh, through the family or somebody just, um, you know, going to the heights of, uh, of security and stability and finances. And that's what you're hoping for. So that's a good thing to be hoping for in your in manifestation mode. Hope away, Pisces. <laughs> and the last card you have up that concludes the read and concludes the month for you guys is the Three of Cups. Celebration time. The Three of Cups in the upright position. This is beautiful. Again, this is perfect that we have the Nine of Cups here and the Three of Cups during uh, your birthday season, <laughs> Pisces, because here you are celebrating at the end of the month. Who knows what you're celebrating? You could be celebrating a big win. You could be celebrating a passionate new relationship. Whatever it is, wish away. This is an amazing reading. You're living the dream, Pisces. I tell you, <laughs> this is a great month for you guys. Three of Cups energy. This is you maybe getting together with a group of friends at work. Uh, maybe you're celebrating something, a promotion, or could be celebrating with family. Uh, this could be a wedding. This could be an um, engagement party, anything. But it, it's in the upright, so it looks like it goes well. This could very well be your birthday party. <laughs> Please leave me a comment in the comment section below. I wish you the best. I hope this manifests for all the Pisces out there. What a great reading. Okay, I hope this helped you. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Otherwise, I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.